Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to extend your evaluation license when using FortiGate VM in GNS or EVNG for testing proof of concept or just learning. How they have changed FortiOS 7.2.1 and higher and why you might still want to stick to an older version like 7.0.5 if you're just starting. Plus, I'll walk you through backing up your config, deleting your firewall, creating a fresh one, and then restoring your settings to extend the evaluation license. So let's just dive in. If you followed the series so far, you know exactly like why it is so important to have EVNG up and running or even GNS. These are powerful virtualization tools, and they let you build your entire network lab on a single PC or a server. Now, by adding FortiGate VM that we've done in the past videos, you can test real firewall policies, VPNs, certain security features without needing a physical hardware. This is perfect for anybody who's studying for certification or just looking to get hands-on with Fortinet technology. Before we get into this video further, you need to understand that there is a licensing that we haven't touched upon now, which is an important part. So what happens with Fortinet is they give you two options with your licenses. Either you buy a license, if you, if you have a Fortinet partner that's able to give you that, that's perfect. In case you're not, you just want to test it here, then you can use the evaluation license. The evaluation license, if you're working with the older versions, like a Fortinet 7.0.5, the one that I have here, they will give you 15 days as you start. The moment you log in, you're in the firewall, and it's not going to ask you for any license. In order to get in here, it's pretty straightforward. Double click on this particular Fortinet app. Now, in order to know that what kind of license do I have here, you can simply go log in first. And once I'm in here, I want to go and check when is my license expiring. I can either do it from a command here if I want to, which is just by saying get system status. That will give me information that I'm looking for. Get system status. That gives me the information that I'm looking for. Let's see what it does give me. So obviously, it tells me that you're using version 7.0.5. That's one thing. OK. And now let's look at the serial number. This is a serial number right here. And license, it's saying valid, but it's going to expire soon. It's expiring on the 17th of January. And I'm on the 10th today, so I only have seven more days left. Now, let's see if I need more time. What do I do in that case? See, the best option here would be is to back up the config and then recreate the Fortinet. It's the best option. So Let's do that. Let's go into Diagnose, IP, Address, List. That gives me the list that this particular Fortinet is connected on, which is 192.168.136.132. I go on that, and I use the same username and password that I've set up initially. In here, you can say we'll do that later. Once you're logged into your firewall, uh, and here you'll see also the same thing that it's expiring on the 17th. And all I want to do is I want to make sure that I back up my config. Simply you go on the admin section, go to your configuration, and click on backup. Obviously, I want a local uh, PC, so I want to back it up on my local PC. Make sure you have turned the encryption off for now. Just so leave everything default, click on OK. It just basically says, OK, I'm going to download it. And then the config file is saved. OK, so now if you want to take a look at a config file it's just uh, a a big file here it's a lot of lines we can just leave it the way it is as i said nothing extra to be done there okay so once we've done that now the next thing i want to do here is i want to go ahead and add another firewall that has longer license time so i can go to node i go to fortinet and i'll make sure that i pick up the same version the 7.0.5 because i'm going on this setup so far i'll use that Everything default, you connect it to the cloud here. Once you've done that, right click, start, and you're waiting for the Fortinet to start. You double click on that, brings up a Telnet session. We'll wait till it boots up. Shouldn't take too long. Now, once it's up and running, it gives me the serial number here. Once it's up and running, I have to log in. And if you remember from the past videos, it's admin and blank. And then you have to set up a password. So admin, hit enter, new password. I'll set something up here. Make sure you remember this because that's what you need. And then the next thing is diagnose, IP, address, list. So I know what address it got. If you notice, it got a 192.168.136.133. 
sure. So let's get on there. And that's the same password that I set up. And I'm in now. I can do that later. I don't want to see this for now. If I go to license here evaluation, it's moved to 25th now. So I've got some extra time. If you look at it, it actually is 15 days from the day you actually deployed. But now the challenge I have in here is if I go to interfaces, it does not have uh, the IP addresses that I had here, right? So this is if I go back to my old firewall, and if I go to interfaces, it had some IPs here, it had some stuff here. Obviously, I'm not getting all that here. So this is where you back up your config, and now you import the config into this one. So if you go and go configuration, sorry, go configuration, say restore, you upload the file. That's where I have downloaded and I kept it. You hit OK. It's going to say restoring the configuration. Are you OK? Because I'm going to reboot the firewall. Sure, why not? Go ahead and do it. So you're going to wait till it comes back. Just going through some motions here. And if you notice now, the firewall is back. So we'll get you the same screen. We'll use the same password. And we'll say later. Now let's go back to network interfaces. And if you notice, the same config that was configured here has been already built back. Now you can just go back to your topology, get rid of this firewall, replace it with this guy, and you're good to go. So it's pretty straightforward. Now, this is what's happening with the older version, right? I said, and you notice that when I added a new one, it gave me 15 days. Now, what happened with Fortinet was once you hit the Fortinet 2.1 and higher, there are a couple of things that you need here. You need to make sure that you need a Fortinet support account. And then you need to get a permanent evaluation license because they give that to you, but it's only one per account. Okay, so how you do that is, is pretty straightforward. You go to a website, which is this one right here. And I'll put that into the, and if you don't have an account, you can go ahead and create one. I already have one. So I'll log in and I'll show you. And now this is also, once you create an account, you can actually download the latest firmware as well, right? So if you go here, it has services and it has support. You go to support, you say VMware images. And that is where you actually go ahead and see I have one of 40 gate. And because you're using for EVNG or GNS, you have to make sure that you pick up the platform as KVM. And now it has some earlier versions like 7.2.10 or 7.4.5, or if you want to go with the latest, I had this one. So if you click on this, here is another catch that you got to make sure. The file name that you have to download start from FGT, and you should not be getting any of the FFW, because if you get that, then it will not work the way you want it, or you will not be able to uh, you know, get an eval there. Make sure that you get the right one. This is going to be the one that you're looking for at this point, new deployment, 40 gate for KVM, and it's starting with FGT, okay? So once you click on that, it will just let you download the file, which I have already downloaded and I have already imported into my VNG. And if you don't know how to import it, QMU image, I've already done a video on how to, you'll use WinSCP and you'll put them in that folder. And don't forget that you'll have to also do the fix permissions that I've shown you before. Once we're all done all that, the next thing I want to do is now I want to make sure that I'm able to validate my new firewall, right? So I've downloaded this firewall. And if you notice that this one is the 7.4.6, right? And this one is a bit different. When you start the firewall, oops, actually, there's one thing I got to do before I do that. I need to make sure that I'm able to connect to management so get an IP address so I can start and I'll double click. So once the firewall starts, do the same thing what we have done before. Let's log into the firewall and you see that it's starting up. Once you're in, same thing, admin, hit enter. It's gonna ask you to set up a new password, which you do. Once you've done that, diagnose IP address list. That tells me what IP am I getting. I'm getting a 192, 168, 136.136, which is perfect. I can just copy that, paste it into my browser, use the same password that I set up just now, and I'm in. This is where you'll notice that 
it does not give you those 15 days. It's going to say, you either give me the license if you have one. If you don't, you go to the eval license. And this is where the account that you created on the 40 support, the link that I gave you on, that's where you'll add in. So I'll quickly pause the recording here and I'll go ahead and add my email address and password. It's just saying that system is rebooting once I added that. And that's all it does for us for now. And while that was rebooting, when I went to my support Fortinet account, it said that the serial number has been updated. It was registered on so-and-so date. And that's about it. Now, another great resource, which I'll put in the description, is the Fortinet documentation, which is pretty handy. So this just tells you the exact same thing what I did. I selected the evaluation license, logged in with my username password. OK, and that's about it. Uh, just to thing to remember is that this is the license, yes, but then it has some restrictions still. OK, so I'll give you these links that you can go over them. The evaluation licenses do have some restriction on how much can you do? But the main part that I want you to remember is when you go into your accounts, you can only get one 40 gate license. This is permanent. This is not going to expire with some limitations, but it's the only one that you got. So going back to my original setup that I had with my topology, here's my takeaway. If you're using the older devices, then you can use as many as you want without initially extending it. Keep deleting. Keep adding them again. Make sure you back up your configs. That way, there is no real expiry. The only pain you have is to kind of go ahead and make sure that you have to back up your config and do it that way. If you want to test something with the latest device, then what you can also do it is have mix of these and just have one on the latest version, like a 7.6, which is out today, and then test those out. Some recommendations have also been that if you really need two to see something you can create two accounts uh, but that's again that's a pain i'll leave it up to the viewers and how they want to do it but the only thing to remember is if you're using anything which is older than 7.2.1 then you don't need an eval initially it can give you 15 days if you use 7.2.1 and higher then you need license that does not expire you need a 40 support account and evaluation that's it, folks. We walked you through setting up a 40 gate VM in GNS and EVNG, explained the evaluation license, and compared the 7.0.5 versus the 7.2.1 and higher. Remember to back up your configs, especially if you're experimenting in a lab environment. If you found this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you have any questions or future tutorial requests. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.